Hi there, Alina from Excellent Mastery here. Today I want to talk about some shortcuts that you may or may not know about in Xactimate. So there are some shortcuts that we use commonly in Windows and on a Mac, and they may not, you may not know that they translate over into Xactimate, and they're commonly used shortcuts that we use every day, but for some reason we don't think to use them in Xactimate. It's um, pretty cool that I can save you a lot of time if you use these common shortcuts. So I just want to talk about them today because I've seen other videos out there where um, the shortcuts are not being used. And then of course in our live training classes, um, in interacting with people, um, these shortcuts just that you'll use them in Word or Excel, but then not use them over in Xactimate. So I just wanted to show you some very easy to use, commonly missed shortcuts in Xactimate that I think will save you tons of time. So let's go take a look. first thing I would like to talk about is how to select multiple items. Yes, I know you probably think, Alina, come on, that's so basic. But I actually find when we're teaching classes live that people don't know how to select all. And it's a simple trick. There's several different ways to do it. And I thought I'd show you that even though it seems apparent that you can, of course, select all, sometimes you only want to select part of a list or a piece of a list. So, of course, the easiest way to do this is to control A or command A. That'll select everything on your list. Then you can simply control C to copy or if you're more comfortable right clicking, you can right click and copy, go into a different room, right click paste or control V. I prefer the keyboard shortcuts because the less I can have to click, the more time I'm going to save. So I actually prefer uh, to just control A to select all. Um, and you must select the line item first in order to do that. Then we can control A, control C to copy, and then control V to paste those line items. And again, you need to select a line usually. I don't know if you caught that. I had to select a line before it would let me paste, but I really like control A for select all, control C for copy, control V as in Victor in order to paste. Those are my most commonly used shortcuts and some people may not know that they translate over here. Uh, if you're using a Mac, by the way, the command should work for those. Also, there's times when I just want to select part of a list. So let's say that I wanted to bold part of this list starting with my ice and water shield, going down to my drip edge. What you can do is select one to highlight it on the list, scroll down to where you want to be, and then hit your shift key first. So I'm holding down my shift key and left click once in order to select the middle part of a list. This is useful if you'd like to just bold just a certain part of your list. Um, if you just want to select uh, something else to copy, maybe you have a garage roof that you need to copy these line items onto, um, you can do that shift click in order to copy um, or control C and that will allow you to select just a part of a list which is very useful. Um, in fact I've seen some people just go through and hold down their control key and select like this. I want to save you the most time that I possibly can. I, I Believe me, I love estimating, I love Xactimate, but the faster I can get in and get out, the happier I am in using the program, and I feel like I'm just getting much more accomplished by writing more estimates every day with these easy shortcuts that will save you a lot of time. The other thing I wanted to show you is you can copy and paste between estimates. So let's say that I wanted this bolded list hold down that shift key and click, I can reselect my bolded list, I can control C to copy, I can go over to my other estimate over here and go to the roof and go ahead and select that line, control V as in Victor, in order to place. So you can copy and paste between estimates. And this works really great if you have a template style estimate like what I'm using here. I set up my grouping tree, I have a master template, I duplicate this estimate uh, whatever I would like to use that template in this grouping tree set up, and then I can copy and paste from other estimates. I can then place my macros. I can do lots of fun things here because I've duplicated the estimate and can now copy and paste and do all those uh, things that I just mentioned. So that's another thing that's quite useful. You can also take and select multiple folders and copy and paste those between 
um, estimates, if you will. Um, I can append those there and those will be added. So copy and paste works throughout Xactimate, saves you lots of time. If you've written one roofing estimate, if you've written one mitigation estimate or rebuild estimate, you kind of have written them all, right? I mean, there's going to be the nuances of custom things that will happen. And, you know, um, sometimes you won't have a cornice return on a roof or inside of a room, you won't have crown molding, right? But we do have an average kind of setup that we can work with. And it's the more we can copy and paste in using macros, of course, that's my other thing that I love. But sometimes, you know, with your grouping tree, getting that set up correctly and how you want it, copy and paste might be a better option uh, for some of those activities as well. So just a huge shortcut that I really love. Copy and paste has saved my life a million times, saved me tons of time in estimating, and I hope that is useful to you. So the main takeaway today is Control A will select all, Control C will copy, Control V will paste, V is in Victor, and again, if you're using a Mac, those are Command A, C, and V is in Victor. And then we can also use our Shift key in correlation with clicking our mouse to highlight things in the middle. Hope that will save you lots of time. Hope you showed you something that you can use out there in the field today. Also wanted to say, if you like this topic, please like this video. That helps me know and you can create more quick shortcut kind of videos like this. Also subscribe to our channel. If you're enjoying these videos, please click that subscribe button. That helps me know that what the content that we're creating here is useful to you and it's something that you want to see every week. For more information on what I do here at XM8 Mastery, visit my website at xm8mastery.com. Hope you guys are getting some storms out there this week. We've kind of had a boring season so far. I think Denver got hit uh, last week, but the rest of us are just kind of sitting here twiddling our thumbs. So hopefully something exciting is going to happen soon and we'll get out to work and uh, get to having some fun this season. Hope you guys have a great week in your business and I'll see you next week.